A budget is simply a spending plan. While making a budget helps you plan where your money should go, closing out a budget lets you know if you were able to stick to your budget. Here are the 5 steps to close out your budget. Number 1. Check your current budget and see if all bills have been paid. Make sure you have your list of income and expenses sa inyong budget. Under expenses, pwede niyong isulat na lang lahat or pwede niyong ihiwalay ang fixed expenses or yung expenses na fixed ang amount at variable o yung nag iba iba ang amount per month. Check the due dates and the dates of payments to make sure that all bills have been settled to avoid disconnection of service and late payment penalty charges. Number 2, check your expense tracker and categorize your expenses. Ang pagtatrack ng expenses ay pwede mong gawin from the day na katanggap ka ng sweldo up to the next payday or pwede din naman from the first day of the month hanggang katapusan. Sa aking sample budget, ang expense tracker ko ay nagsisimula sa first day of the month until the last day of the month. Monthly ang expense tracker ko. Since na-track ko lahat ng expenses namin for the whole month, ngayon naman, ito total ang expenses per category. Yung categories ko based sa list ng expenses ko sa monthly budget. Magkakaiba tayo dito, so depende yan sa expenses nyo, depende sa categories nyo. Number 3, write the actual amount of expenses in the monthly budget. Once nakuha mo na yung total ng expenses per category, isulat mo na ito sa actual column sa monthly budget. Get the total of expenses and get the difference between the budget amount and actual amount. Dito mo makikita ngayon kung over budget or under budget ka at kung saan categories. Pwede mo din idagdag sa list of expenses kung may mga unexpected expenses this month na hindi kasama sa budget or napagandaan naman through sinking funds. If you use cash envelopes for some categories, pwede mo yung tingnan kung magkano ang natira sa bawat envelope. Number 4, get the percentage of the actual amount. To get the percentage, divide the actual amount of each expense by the total actual expenses. Dito natin makikita at a glance yung percentage ng bawat expense sa budget. Number 5, decide what to do with your over and under budgets. Option 1, you can get the total of all the actual expenses and compare it with the budget. Kung ang budget mo is 50,000 at ang actual lang na expenses ay 48,000, you decide kung saan mo ilalagay ang sobrang 2,000. Pwedeng sa savings, pwedeng i-roll over to the next budget, or pwede namang reward fund. Option 2, you can roll over to the next cash envelope for each category. For example, kung ang budget sa gasol ay 1,000 per month, pero ang presyo ngayon ay 800 lang, yung sobrang 200, pwede mong i-roll over sa susunod na budget for gasol ulit. Kung same pa din ang ilalaan yung budget per category next month, mas malaki na ang magiging starting balance nito. Ang kagandahan nito is kung mas mahal na ang gasol next month, may buffer or extra cash ka sa envelope mo for gasol. Paano naman yung mga kinulang sa budget? Halimbawa, yung budget for utility bills, 5,000 pesos lang. Pero, this month inabot ng 5,500. Saan mo ngayon kukunin yung 500 na kulang? Option 1, kung ang sinusundan mo ay option 1 natin kanina, pwede mong kunin doon ang 500 kung may sobra pa. Option 2, Kung may sariling cash envelope ang utilities at nire-roll over ang sobrang funds kada buwan, pwede mo ditong kunin. Option 3, you can get it from your emergency fund or savings account na gusto mo pagkunan nito. Option 4, pwede kang mag-advance sa susunod mong income and list it as an expense. Again, our budget is flexible. Pwede natin itweak depende sa gusto natin. Ako sa ngayon ay follow option 1. Tinototal ko muna lahat ng actual. Pag may kulang, I get it from our miscellaneous savings fund. Pag sobra naman, nilalagay ko din sa miscellaneous savings fund. Ito yung buffer fund namin. Kasi minsan, di ba, hindi natin maiiwasan. Nagkukunang talaga ang budget. It's always a good idea to check your buffer fund account to see if it has more than what you need. Pag medyo malaki na yung balance, you can transfer transfer it to another savings account for your other financial goals or sa isang digital bank para medyo mas malaki ang interest dito. Number 6, fill out the yearly income and expense tracker, pati na din yung net worth tracker. Makikita mo yung trend kung kailan tumataas ang income, kung kailan mas mataas ang mga expenses, so you can make adjustments in your finances accordingly. 
And number seven, summary of the month's budget. Just get the total income and then the total expenses. And if you're using the zero-based budget, dapat zero ang balance. Pero if you're not using it, just get the difference income minus expenses and see kung over budget or meron pang natira or sakto lang. You can also check your expense tracker. Saan categories ka ba nag-over budget? Saan ka merong mga excess na funds from your envelopes? You can ask yourself, how can I improve? What are the things that I did well this month? How do you want to reward yourself? It will help you to keep motivated. Many people fail at budgeting because they forget to reconcile or compare their budget to the actual numbers. Nag-start lang, nagawa lang ng budget pag receive ng sahod, pero nakalimutang i-compare yung expected versus the actual at the end of the pay period or at the end of the month, which is very, very important. So I hope may nakuha kayong idea or may natutunan kayo dito sa ating video about budget reconciliation at sana may apply nyo din sa inyong pagbabudget. If you need help in budgeting, you can check out my budgeting templates at thepinayinvestor.com slash shop. I call it Budget Bundle because aside from the budgeting templates, it also comes with an ebook entitled Paano Ba Mag Budget? For more information, just check the description and comment section. For more budgeting tips and resources, check out the links on the screen.